Hi, this is the second reading um, that took place on the 28th of February 2015. Like the first video, the second video is a tribute really because the, the original footage that I did with the drawing um, has been lost. So it's, this is my memories of the event that <laughs> took place yesterday really. Um, this second reading the spirits did come through. The main um, figure that came through was of a gnomish figure looking very much like Horatio. He, the spirit came across very kind of loving but very um, pragmatic. He wanted to do the reading and that was that. Um, as you can see from the drawing that was created, it's all very much highlighting uh, very specific things and I'll go through that in a minute when I zoom in on the drawing. The spirits that, that came through I got very much of the sense they were um, from the, the Fey realm. So for me to do this drawing I found it when interpreting the drawing I felt there was like a almost like an understanding barrier. Obviously the, the Fey realm were describing things in that on their terms and my knowledge of the fairy realm is very limited so um, I could only grasp the very basic understanding what was coming through the drawing. There may be more pictures in the drawing that are more symbolic which those people who may understand more of the fairy realm will, will understand more than what I was able to, to get from it. Um, but yeah, it was overall a very interesting reading and I'll, I'll go through it now with you. Okay, so this is the drawing. As you can see from this perspective, the reading is being done from the present positive scene angle. What I got from this reading was obviously there's a main clump here and two bits coming away here and here. The feeling I got um, also the spirits that were doing the reading were quite keen to make sure that this figure here was emphasised. They called her uh, Queen Mags. Um, I believe that's like the, the Queen of the Fairies. What I um, I understand from this picture is very much um, you've got a period here where stuff is created and like the, the seeds, um, you can see like a seed here and almost like a balloon figure as well and slight leaves coming off and also in the distance here you've got a, a smaller blue one with its own leaf as well and things kind of growing but staying with the main base with their own blue bits and, and leaves as well. So. So very much um, a formation of something that almost like a tree or a plant which has seeds and some seeds stay with it and grow and some seeds go off and form, form their own colonies. So in the present it, it's a place or a plant where stuff kind of just grows and you can either decide to stay in the main, grow in the main area or go away to further afield. But in the, in this space, in this nature space, both things are catered for, and you can choose either way. This way is a present negative unseen. What I saw in this picture was um, because the the sense I got from these readings that they don't really have a negative side. This drawing is very much just one of one of their memories that they have of this location that. That the drawing has come from. So in this picture I see a picture of a dog, so that's its nose, eye, ear, kind of the back of its head, legs. I got generally like a fluffy dog and as you can see here it seems to be fishing and, and playing with the spirits that are floating around here. So obviously in the fey realm these might be spirit lights or, or the fairies themselves that this, this dog could see them and they seem to be playing a game of chase. Again, it's not malicious, the dog is just being playful and these are just happily kind of just out of its reach of when it is trying to catch them. So a playful time. Um, obviously the, the, these colours here. But again, I just think they're just trying to portray the surroundings of this dog that was aware of the spirit lights in the garden and, and would try and chase them, a period of playful fun really. This is past lessons learnt. With this figure I saw very much a, 
kind of a will-o'-the-wisp kind of figure. Um, got the eyes here and the mouth being led by a light. But this bit almost like a handle or a saddle of the creature and it's got like many legs, almost like a millipede. I say it's a willow of the wisp, but I feel this figure is very much of the fey spirit realm and doesn't really have an equivalent yet in the physical realm. But what I, I got from it's very much a kind of an animal that goes through the motions. As you can see here, it's following this kind of guiding light with a, with a loving intention. So it's kind of going through the motions, just following the direction that it's been shown to go. It does not really considering it what it wants to do for itself, it's just following its natural course. So if this is, as I I kind of get a sensation, it's regarding a plant in our garden, it, in the past it was just left to its own devices, just could go along as it wanted, just um, like following nature's way really, season after season left to grow as it wanted and things happening in their natural course. This is near future lessons coming. As you can see the main figure here that the spirit were quite keen to make sure represented in the picture is quite regal looking. There's a hair, a little crown, a spirit light above her. In this picture I'm seeing things are like queued up almost in a line and they've cleared a pathway for her which is calm and tranquil. Behind her um, are lots of creatures, looking possibly like tree um, figurines, and little, well, obviously a face here, and little legs, a foot here, and another head and hands. So they're kind of forming an assembly line for her. I feel there's lessons coming, um, if it's, as I feel uh, very much tied to her garden, because in our garden was like, um, we're not the most green fingered of uh, people, so we didn't do very much to our garden. So it's kind of it was left to run wild and have the fey realm obviously had free reign in it. But um, until very recently, things started to happen to the garden where things have been cut down, trimmed, and lots of action happening. So I feel this pitch was very much this is a kind of spirit liaison reassuring all the elementals that were based in the garden that all the change is happening she will make, she will oversee to make sure that they are looked after and taken on on board with all the changes that are happening and they won't be kind of pushed to the side and with being tied in it, obviously this figure well-being is looking out for all these creatures because their well-being is tied in with how her well-being so it's like the, the equal side, although she may be appeared as as the regal one for all these creatures, if all these creatures aren't feeling imbalanced and, and looked after, then her own well-being suffers. So it's kind of tied in there. And she's like the spirit representative, making sure all what's happening in the garden where they live as well, they're taken into account and looked after. So... In summary, what I take from this reading, um, that it may, from what the sense I get from it, I don't think it's a golden gauge tree, even though it's got a few yellow bits. I'm getting very much it might be the big conifer tree or evergreen tree at the back of our garden that's quite large. Um, a lot of things have lived in that tree and obviously flown, all, flown the nest, as it were, and the little seeds that have grown around it. We did, um, obviously it's been left to its own devices quite a long time, hence why it's quite large, um, but a few years ago we, the bottom of the tree was trimmed and a few of the animals came distressed thinking that it was going to be chopped down, but obviously it reassured that it was only the bottom bit was cleared, but at the time I, my animal communication skills weren't such that I could communicate that we appreciated how important this tree was for the local ecology and, and wildlife in the area and as I've always suspected where we live we're not the only ones here um, obviously in our garden because it's so wild and left to its own devices there is quite an established fairy realm in there which I will be making more of a conscious effort to make sure it's included with any plans that we have um, 
especially with the gnome coming through and now being represented in my house with Horatio and obviously this kind of Max creature here who seems to be the main spiritual liaison for the spirit realm that live in our garden.